How do we think of Jesus, really? Is our view of him dictated entirely by famous paintings and favorite scriptures? Do we prefer to think of him as Lord of Lords, ruler of all, the wise teacher, our savior, the one who is victorious over death? Today, think of Jesus as small. He is an infant who depends completely on mother and father, grandmother, aunts, and older cousins. Every hour he needs something. He cries from hunger or the need to be changed, or from an upset stomach or a bad cold. Think of Jesus as vulnerable, his bones and muscles forming day by day. He lives in a rough world where people pray for harvest in order to eat through the winter, where military occupying forces make life miserable and unpredictable. Think of Jesus as a child learning how to form words and make sense of speech and gesture. He learns how to understand when mom or dad means yes or no. He learns to get along with other children, to bear up under older, stronger kids, to work out his social interactions. He learns how to play games, climb trees, help out around the house or in his dad's workshop. Think of Jesus as small, vulnerable, a child with life's window opening up before him. He will have to endure pain. He will have to develop patience. He will have to make mistakes. He will have to search his own soul, figuring out his thoughts, feelings, dreams, fears, and desires. He will have to learn how to pray and know the one who is his heavenly Father. He will have to discover day by day and year by year who he is and what God is calling him to do. Today, think of Jesus this way. Imagine the child walking by you in a group of kids. Hear his laugh. Watch his busy steps. Love his humanity.